but we have this platform. As small as it is, mm. it just needs to inspire one person. Yeah, to and vote Labour. Things... No, not vote Labour. <laughs> Fuck no, God, don't vote Labour. And we're back. <laughs> We should probably have had that last five minutes recorded. <laughs> Although a little personal. But anyway, hang on, I need to find my timer. There it is. Fuck. Shall we go back to Victorian values? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As that is the way America's going, and we need the American audience to like Make us. Make the monies. Yes, we need the YouTube monies. Because we're not millionaires from these 250 odd subscribers. No. <laughs> we don't make any money. We're not monetized. <laughs> Yes, yeah. th- this content for you is free without adverts, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Be appreciative of that. Yes. And you can be show your appreciation by joining our Patreon and donating us twenty dollars each a month. <laughs> There's only a few problems with that. I don't a I don't know what a dollar's worth. B we don't have Patreon. Nope. And C dollars are no use in the UK anyway. Um, I was more making a sort of a, a, a you know. I've just found ironic a joke by saying everything's free, but you have to. We're asking for donations, money, you know, money. I've just found but a you've, you've completely uh, ruined that that flow now. And, and that, I've just found a massive flaw in your begging. Yeah, yeah. The, the point was the flaw. The, it was a joke, Richard. Yeah. Anyway, back to American <laughs> values. Yeah. Now you vote for Trump. It's <laughs> another American value. Women, give him a warning if you want any rights. Not American value, Victorian value. So well, what? The way the way America's going, yeah, <laughs> they're all going to be American values. Yeah. So women should give him warning if you want any rights. Give him warning. Give him warning. Womanhood and marriage, Bernard McFadden, puts responsibility on women to let their future husbands know if they'd like to retain the rights of their own body. You need to warn a man if you want the right of your own body. Well, I assume this just means free use essentially. Hmm. Hmm. I had a mouthful of beer and you didn't talk for long enough. <laughs> um, well, I can repeat what I said. Yeah, well, hang on. So, in the future, if there are rights for their body, a shockingly new concept for the era, saying that it has been for so long, so, for so long a time, an acceptable idea that the husband's right over the wife's body was inherent. It is advisable for any young woman who takes the other point of view to make her attitude thoroughly understood by her future husband before she definitely takes upon herself the obligations of the marriage state. So that at least gives the woman the chance to say, no, I don't want to be, you know, fucked whenever you like. I want to be able to say no to this, to this before they get married. Well, that, that, that's good. Um, you know. It's the fact the woman needs to mention it is the issue. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. yeah that is the issue there. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> no, I'm going to rape you as and when. There you go. You will do as I say. It's basically a dog. Just, yeah. yeah. You just well, don't I, need to put no, 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 it's nothing like a dog. I've never wanted to rape a dog at any point, Richards. You mean you just haven't had a nice enough dog? I'm currently looking at your mutt <laughs> oh, right no, I now want to rape and that just one. thinking, I would why, destroy why, him. <laughs> why would you stick a penis in that thing? <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> like I see him walking along with his little butthole, walking, and I don't look at it and go, "Oh, I go look at it, oh, I don't want to see that." But it's a dog, so it's just how it is. Isn't it? <laughs> No, that's uh, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Moving on from bestiality. We we always end up with bestiality at some point. <laughs> oh, speaking of bestiality, Whitney Wisconsin's done a new film. Oh, good. Okay, is she? Yeah, you'll have to Google that one. Hello, Matt. <laughs> He's come for some bombing. I, d- I don't think she has, by the way. It was just a oh, okay. <laughs> tagline to an old video. And here's the link. Yeah, the no, no, not a link. It's a card now. Oh, it's a card. Yeah, yeah cards come up instead of annotations. Oh, something. okay. Well, here's a card. What? When? Since when? Why cards? Oh, your dog's all wet. Ugh, get him off me. I just want to cuddle. He wants to lick me. I want to talk about cards. Um, car- cards are just replacements for annotations, and they're good in some ways, but worse in others. Uh, they're much less customizable. Right. Um, but they they look much better um, visually, and apparently they work on more devices. But no one ever really clipped our annotations anyway to worry about it. The mystery videos I put up were very rarely clipped, and are still, you know. Uh, never click now because no one really views our old videos unless they've found the channel by sheer chance I didn't even click the videos I didn't even know what they were some of the mystery videos are really odd <laughs> like they were always related to something we were talking about in the episode or in some way even if it's really minor um, but why did, why did you stop? because it was a bane in the ass doing the annotations oh ok fair enough um, plus I can always find a mystery video that relates to something 
we were talking about that I could put on YouTube. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. So I just bailed on it in the end. Um, the, the playlist is, is public now, though. It used to be private, but if you want to watch a load of random-ass videos, uh, there should be a... Um, a playlist somewhere on the channel that, with a link to all our mystery videos uh, that we put up. Cool. <laughs> right, anyway, back to Victorian values. What was my point with that? There was no point, you were just jabbering. Oh, okay. Hang on. Oh, no, we're only five minutes in. Cool. Right. Women, don't complain if he's not great. That's all women do now is complain. I think we should stick that back don't in. Don't complain if he's not great. Yeah. <laughs> but, but... Okay. While preserving a dignif dignified reserving conduct, a foreboding silence on a subject of her wrongs, fulfilling, as usual, the daily routine of Christian and domestic duties, calm and unruffled, she will, at all events, strengthen her own virtues and evaluate her own characters by such conduct she will also secure the respect and esteem of all around her, and possibly... Time, in time regain the heart of her husband regain yes <laughs> why regain why is it why was it lost well once well, back in those times once you were wed you're wed for life there's no divorce yeah. so if you didn't like him it was tough shit <laughs> regain the heart oh yeah. so if you don't like him hopefully you will learn hopefully to re-like him to again I see okay so yeah <laughs> women get it bloody easy now don't they pick and choose don't they far too easy I may have got all the boxes and here's a lesson that women just seem to have forgotten over the ages. One. Let him win every argument. <laughs> oh, that's about, that, that was reversed, that law, at some point in history. Yeah, God knows when, but it was job. reversed. I can't remember the last time I won an argument. No. Even on anything. What should we have for dinner? I don't know. Well, you got to pick something. Let's have uh, lasagna. Oh, no, I don't want it. Well, I want lasagna. Yeah, but I don't. Let's have chicken nuggets and chips. It annoys me when they say... Like, you want to go out for dinner with them. You say, should we go out for dinner tonight? Yeah, all right then. All right, anywhere you want to go? Well, I don't really know. No, no preference? No, no, you choose. All right, then, well, what about uh, Nando's? Oh, I don't really fancy chicken. Well, fucking what do you fancy then? Oh, yeah. I don't know, but not Nando's. All right then. And you name three more places and I don't want to go to any of them. No. And then you end up going, you know, ended up staying in. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Cause, That's cause, always the way. Because they don't want to choose, even though they know what they want. Mm. And they won't tell you. They want you to choose for them. Yeah, pretty much. <sighs> yeah, Jess is like that. She's like, book a day off. Come on, we need to go out and do something. All right, what have you got planned? Oh, I don't know. We want me to book a day off. Surely you must have something planned. No, I haven't thought of it yet. But, you know, I think you should book a day off. Okay, when? Make it a Friday. Which Friday? Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll just book a Friday off and we'll see what happens. <laughs> no, I don't want to just book a day off to see what happens. If you've got a plan, let's do it. Yeah. It's women. I think that one needs to be reinforced. When we get back into politics, twin. <laughs> we shall we shall enforce yeah, these Victorian should, uh, no, not all of them. women. Just just this one. Let him win every argument. <laughs> women should never wear makeup. Uh it's up to the woman. Yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong, I, I can appreciate makeup uh, like like I like a girl who's naturally pretty, mm. but the makeup does enhance. You know, if used correctly and subtly and in the right place, in the right place. Oh, I'll bring right up way. one of them pictures of the birds with. Even on a man, beard. like a, a, a good-looking guy with a bit of a um, guy liner. He's very sexy. Sure, you know that's never uh, appealed to me. Putting makeup on. Well, no, it's not appealed to me. But a, a guy that. Oh that yeah, no, has, you can see him uh, on the internet. You know, guys wearing a bit of this and a bit of that, and it works for him. Well, I'm, no I'm only talking have. about guys, like a bit of eyeliner, really. And normally, it's like on sort of metrosexual oh, pop bands, anyway. There was a there was a guy who worked at <laughs> or Johnny Depp. It looked good on Johnny Depp. <laughs> Everything looks good on Johnny Depp. Yeah, true. But anyway, there was a guy who worked at, I think it was Curry's actually, and uh, he got told he needed to remove his makeup because it was Fuck. not right for him to wear it. So he just stood there and was like. Um, no, if the ladies can wear makeup, so can I. It doesn't say anywhere I can't in your employee handbook. Yeah. And if it did, it'd be against, you know, be unequal rights. Mm, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And he, and he made a proper stand and his managers were just like, well, we've picked the wrong fight here. There was a, an argument about this recently um, with a guy. Mm. I think it might have been in a call centre or something like that. I don't think it was dealing with the public. Yeah. But basically, it was really hot. Um and the girls could wear like skirts or whatever yeah, yeah. or dresses the guys had to wear trousers and this guy came in in short like like formal trousers like formal shorts yeah, yeah. so they were smart but they were shorts and he was told to go home and change because men aren't allowed to wear shorts and so he came back in a skirt 
<laughs> yeah. And it was like, you know, if they're allowed to wear skirts, fucking, you won't let me wear shorts. Yeah, yeah. I'll fucking wear a skirt then. And, and I think they changed their uh, policy to allow men to wear formal shorts. Well, it's Damn like... straight. I fucking, it, it's too true. Women, women do get a lot of choice when it comes to clothing and men are limited to a shirt and trousers. How many places where they say business wear is anything but shirt and trousers for a man? I know. I know. It, it's, it pisses me right off, it does. You know, I'd really want to sometimes just go in butt naked. But no, apparently that's a HR issue. Y- yes, that is. <laughs> but you hear about it as well, just quickly before we end the episode, of uh, school kids doing that as well. Certain schools won't let uh, the guys wear shorts. Really? Yeah, so they huh. so these guys in protest come in wearing skirts. Yeah. Because good. the rules don't say they can't wear skirts. Yeah. They just say they can't wear shorts. Yeah. So they're not wearing shorts, they're wearing skirts. And the schools are like, we've got to change the rules then. Because now boys aren't afraid to wear skirts to make a point. <laughs> yeah. oh, well, they're not, are they? Yeah, good that's, on them. Exactly, that's exactly the right point. You've, you've got to stand up and make the rules equal. Mm. Like, don't be wrong, women have had it tough recently and the rules are now equaling, but now it's it's flipped. Women are getting uh, all these, I say rights, I think rights is the wrong word, privileges, and now men are being left behind. <laughs> well, I think right, don't get me wrong, women's want equal, to come from Equality is becoming more yeah. common uh, in the workplace for yes. women. In, in some areas and men are being left behind in others yes um, yeah. you know I the, the clothing issue um, I remember although once at school um, it was one of those you know last day of term wear what you want days right um, or fancy dress or something and of course everyone wore what they normally wore and one guy came in in a mankini like the Borat mankini mankini and he was, I mean, obviously when you're that age and you see guys, other people that age, it doesn't look weird, but he was probably about 13 at the time. Yeah. <laughs> and so he didn't get sent home. He didn't? He didn't get sent home. He was allowed to walk around in this, in this fucking mankini all day. I think there's a line <laughs> that needs to be drawn. And it needs to be His genitals were circle. covered up, barely, but they were covered up. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway... Next week, when we start recording again, I can get over that image. <laughs> Enjoy that. A 14 year old boy in a mankini. Don't put a picture up, Twin. Don't put a picture up. <laughs> mm, I wonder what I'll do there. <laughs> God. It'll probably end up with you being in a mankini, to be honest. I'll dub your face in it. Dub my face on a Borat mankini. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> it's it's got to be better than a 14 year old. <laughs> <laughs>